to our spot. Uh, so good morning. Welcome to Fit 50. Hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Let's just get started, everyone. Arms by your side. We can rock a little bit side to side as well. If that feels good for you, just to get warmed up a little bit. And then once you've done that, uh, we're just going to come to a position of stillness. Brace your feet into the floor, bend your knees slightly. And just take a nice big breath in. Lift your shoulders up. And when you breathe, breathe deep down into your belly. Through the nose, nice big breath, hold, and then exhale and just drop those shoulders down, keep them down. Let's keep that space between the heads of the shoulder and the ear lobes, nice and tall. Good stuff, you're gonna bring your right hand to the belly, left hand to your lower back, and let's just breathe for a couple of moments here. Big breath in through your nose. Hold when your lungs are full and then exhale fully. So we're trying to breathe into these spaces. Take the breath really deep. And if you want to move into a full breath, go all the way down into the belly. When this whole space cannot take in any more, that's when you fill the chest up for the complete and full inhalation. And then you just relax and exhale. So we're expanding the rib cage all the way around, not up here, but all the way through this space here. You're going to bring your hands to the side, same sort of thing. Nice big breath into the sides of your hands or side of the body, but into your hands. Keep the chest calm, take the breath deep. And good stuff. Okay. I'm going to let the arms go down to the side. Just move the head around a little bit, turn your head to the left side. Really stretch that out. So the open side is the right side here, but I'm looking to the left. Come to center, look to the right. This time the left side is open. Come back to center, we're gonna look up to the ceiling. Keep looking up, keep your lips closed or lips together. And then you're just gonna rock your head side to side as you look up. And if you wanna spend a moment in one side a little bit more than the other, that's also totally fine. You know how you feel, so just go with that. Nice big stretch here. We're trying to keep this range of motion open. Really good for us to do the side to side, take your time. And then we come back to center, you're gonna drop, look down, chin to chest, then you rock your head a little bit side to side. Stretch this out. Come back to that center position. Turn the head to the right. Drop the ear to shoulder. Let's do some head circles. We try and keep the torso rib cage very uh, calm here as we just move and isolate this space. Really, really good. And then go in the other direction. I just want to adjust here. Someone is not muted. Good job, everybody. Good stuff. There you go. Circle in the other direction. And come back to center. Tuck the right arm behind. Let's keep the head of the shoulder down on that side. Turn your head to the left. Hold on to the side of your head. Let's just give that a little bit of a tug. And then we're going to look up, stretch this out, and then look down. It's interesting. Usually my left side is a little bit tighter in the morning. This time the right side is a little bit tighter. And then you look through the underarm. Every day is just a surprise. <laughs> and I'm going to let that go. Tuck the left arm back, turn your head to the right. And let's hold on to the side of the head on this side. Look forward and up a little bit as you apply some pressure. Get some gentle pressure here. And then start to look down. Oh, this feels really good this morning. Look through the underarm. Letting go of the tension and we come back to neutral position. Okay, good stuff. Arms by your side. Lift the heads of the shoulder up and down. So we just go up and down a few times. Keep your rib cage fairly steady if you can. Up and down, up and down. And then we're going to up, back, down, and forward. 
Shoulder circle, full circle, nice and slow. And remembering that we keep the elbows locked so the movement does not come from mid arm, it comes more from the head of the shoulder. Keep that rib cage really calm here and do a full rotational movement right here. Yeah, this is really, really good stuff. By the way, when you do these, you can also do them holding on to some light weights if you want to add a little bit of strength work to it as well. Okay, and now we stop, and then you lift the head back up, and this time roll forward and back down. Try and get into a full, big, circular range of motion. Nice work. And back to neutral. Shake that out a little bit. Let's take the hands up and move through our fingers. A little piano key movement of the fingers. Spread the fingers wide. Move the fingers around a little bit. And then let's make a fist alternating from hand to hand. Open your hands wide, spread your fingers, and then switch. So you squeeze and open the other side, squeeze and again open the other side, and we just circle or um, cycle, I should say, from one to the other. And then let's open and close both at the same time. Stuck, now make two fists, extension flexion. Then do this slowly, so you want to extension, flexion as you alternate, squeeze, and then we go to the side, and then we go up to the side, and then back in again. This is really good if you spend some time on your computer or keyboards, anything really. And then let's just do some circles, both directions. And then bring the arms down, hold on to the right wrist or right forearm, open your hand wide. And let's, again, do some extension and flexion. So the arm here is pretty much at 90 degrees, and I'm just moving the hand as much as I can on my own without any additional support here. So just the right hand up. And again, think about the center of your palm getting closer to your body and then going away from you. So we're not curling the fingers. We're just keeping the fingers open. And a little bit of rotational movement. Any amount here, it may not be a lot, you go side to side, in and out. You know, think about the center middle of your hand here is the movement. Turn up, you know, no right or wrong way. You're just trying to really keep that hand open and circular. I feel that quite a bit through the wrist and up and down through the forearm. Okay, we'll switch and do the other side. Open the hand. Move into flexion, extension, this is flexion, this is extension. A little bit side to side, so more lateral extension and flexion, side to side. Also noticing any difference between your left and right. And then move that into just some kind of a, more of a circular movement. Right, then we're going to bring the hands together, interlace your fingers, and bring the palms to touch. And just a light pressure here between the hands as we start to create that figure eight. Again, do this slowly so you can have a pretty good range of motion. Another way to strengthen this, um, this particular movement that we're doing is if you had a small dumbbell that you sandwiched between your hands, and you were doing this motion, it's the same motion, but with a dumbbell holding it in your hands and strengthen the wrist quite as well. And then just go a little bit side to side, front to back, any movement here. And if you feel like you're particularly tight, you go to one side, really create that extension, go to the other side, do that, just some nice light movements. Okay. And then we take the arms up. Let's move through our wave, wave-like action. And think about circular 
serpentine like motion. And then we go the other side. And this is all really, really good stuff. Keep the fluids moving within our joint capsules and keep those joints really healthy through movement. Easy, nice movement. Okay, good stuff. We're gonna take the arms to the side. Okie dokie, take the arms up, cross at the front. This moves your shoulder blades around a little bit behind you. Keep the arms straight, back out again, and over to the other side. So just cross the top and cross the bottom. So just alternate from side to side. I'm going to drop the arms down, left hand high up on the chest, lift the arm up nice and high on the right side, stand up tall, and maybe see if you can take the arm back a little bit further without extending the, extending the spine. And then forward, lift, 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 back up again, down again, stuff. So, one more, up, one more back. Let it go, we'll switch, right hand high up on the chest, left arm up, lift, and back down again. Try and keep your body as steady as you can, just isolate this one arm. Okay, good stuff, and we'll let that go. A little bit of backwards swimming. Right arm reaches back, reach, 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 reach. Left arm reaches back, reach, reach, reach. Let's check out this side, see how that feels. So you wanna really exaggerate this movement, reach back as far as you can, try not to turn the torso if possible. You can even do a left arm tuck when the right arm goes back. And then you switch right arm tuck when the left arm goes back. It just keeps the shoulder down when you do this movement like so. And one more. Okay, good stuff. Bring your hands behind your head just slightly. Take the elbows nice and wide. Look up, take a big breath, bring the elbows back. And when you do this, the chest is gonna puff out a little bit, but keep the belly tight. So you don't wanna again, extend or do that spinal extension. And then you're going to bring the elbows forward, tuck your chin into your chest, roll and curve your spine this time. Bend your knees slightly, touch your legs, come on up. This is your core control doing this movement. Look up, nice big breath, and again, tuck. One up, do one more. Elbow to knees and up and open for that nice big, big, big stretch. All right, bend your knees slightly, bring your hands onto your legs. Pelvic tilt and tuck. So I get that um, tilt forward, tuck back. Tilt forward and tuck back. Very light pressure here with the hands. I'm trying to engage my core muscles to hold me upright in this position. A couple more. Should feel pretty good. Loosening up the whole spine. Good stuff. And then we'll do one more, which is that tree hugger that we've done before. You're gonna bend your knees slightly. And you're gonna start to bend, reach, and then come up. So the arms go up really wide here. You're pressing the pelvis forward when you stand. You're gonna bend your knees, hug the tree, and then come right back up again. Open, nice big opening here. And then in, out. In, out, one more, and open up. Okay, good stuff. Let's move a little bit lower, right into this whole space. I'm gonna have the hands to the side, rock a little bit this way and that way. Just a little bit of shifting motion. Let me just get center here. 
okay. Then you come flat onto your feet. Keep the movement going. Again, this is right into the hip space, this lateral movement. And then we we'll turn that into some circular movement. Pick a direction, go one way. And then we go the other way. Hi, right. good stuff. We're gonna balance a little bit, gang. So if you, uh, if balancing is a bit of a challenge for you, remember you hold on to the wall, hold on to a chair. So pull that chair up if you need to. Otherwise, you're just gonna try and balance with me. We're gonna lift one leg up, pulse that leg a little bit. Switch, pulse the leg a little bit. And other side. Switch, left side, pulse the leg a little bit. Okay, this time I'm gonna lift the right leg. The knee is at hip height. Knee is at hip height. And then I'm going to try and pendulum swing this way without lowering the leg. I'm just gonna try and keep it in this position and then rotate through the hip socket this way, that way, without leaning in any direction. Now I'm gonna go out, back, and around, forward, in, out, back and around. One more, this will be the last one. And then we go back and bring the leg down. Okay, some more circles. You should feel that more into the right side right now. And a little bit into the other direction. And then we'll try the left leg and see how that goes. Okay, lift the left leg up. And if you notice too, the, the, the foot is not just hanging here. So I'm actively pulling the foot up. And then let's do some internal rotation, external rotation. So I already noticed here, my leg does not go out as far as the other one. I'm tighter on this side. So if I wanted to go more, I would actually do this. So I want to avoid that, go out as far as I can whew, without falling, and then back the other way. This is more of an internal rotation, external rotation. So I'm going to go in, back, definitely tighter for me on this side. Again, external, internal, and then press back. Think about pressing your heel back. Internal, uh, sorry, this is external. Internal, the foot is flexed. I'm gonna press my heel back, and then come forward, and then one more time. So off here, external, internal, and back you go. Good stuff, okay. That's it for cars this morning. Good stuff. Move that around a little bit. I'm going to get our timer on. We're going to get set 20 minutes. Make sure your nose is clear. Have a little sip of water if you need to. And then we're going to get started. Marching position. We're going to get our timer on. Put the music up a little bit louder. And then let's just start to move. There we go. So various movements again today, as always, 45 seconds or so, and then we'll have a 15 second reset in that marching position. But for now, let's just get started. We'll spend about a minute or so getting warmed up. Find a pace this morning that you can hang on to for a while, breathe in and out deeply through your nose for as long as you can. And once you've converted into a more mouth breathing, every once in a while, I'll remind you just to try and take a sip through your nose, okay? Remember not to use me as your speed model. I'm not gonna go too quickly. I'm gonna try and just hang tight here as much as I can without uh, gassing out. So, go, 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 go. 
another 15 seconds of this marching warm up. All right, I'm gonna go to the back of the space here and then just start to walk forward and back. Get into the habit of looking straight ahead or maybe even up a little bit. That'll keep your spine straight. It'll keep your shoulders right on top of the hips. Remembering as well, gang, if, you, uh, if this stuff becomes really easy, put on some ankle weights, put on some wrist weights, or even hold on to a couple of cans of water or soup or something like that if you wanted to just get a little bit more challenge into these movements. Good stuff. Front to back, a few more seconds. Now we'll come back to that middle position and right back to that strong marching position. Even just light two pound, you can buy these two pound wraps to go around your wrists and ankles are quite good. <laughs> you're gonna move side to side, side to side. So you're gonna bring your feet together, maybe a little bit at a time, maybe some big steps, or intermittently change it up. Go big, go small. Challenge your body movements. Remember, it can be really, really quick, 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 quick. Shuffle, shuffle, shift, shift, shift. Or bigger, or both. Try both, both is usually pretty good. Mix it all up. Ten more seconds side to side. Here we go, reset in the center. All right, one leg back, then it goes forward, and they go to the other side, any amount. You can just step side to side if you've got room. Just keep doing the shuffle if you have the room. So more of a, a twisting-like action. Bend your knees a lot, a little, mix it up. And here we go, back to middle position for a reset. Good job, everyone, good stuff. Pick up a pace a little bit. Overhead arm circles coming up, lock those elbows, lift the arms, cross, cross in the front, cross the other way, and again, cross the other way. So switch up the cross, nice big sweep. Move the arms quick, and then slow it down. Move the arms quick, and then slow it down. So alternate, and challenge the movement. Drop the arms in just one second, and here we go. Reset. We're gonna lift the arms to shoulder height, straight arms, lock the elbows, some slight circles, pick a direction. And move into small circles. Focus some attention on breathing. Make sure you're breathing deeply. So if you're breathing really fast, try and slow it down. Make the breath long and deep. Circles in the other direction. Remember your fingers are reaching away, so you're trying to create this outer space in the shoulders. Imagine the arms pulling away from the socket. Lots of space. Don't lift the shoulders up. Keep them down. 
Drop the arms to reset. Good job. Start to take the legs a little bit wider. Turn the toes out slightly. Rotation to punch, rotation. Look to where you're punching to. So full upper body rotation as you go from side to side. And we can go pretty quickly here because the legs are not moving. So we want to double speed the upper body movement. Keep those hips shooting forward. Nice job, about 10 more seconds. Side to side punch and twist and punch and twist. Great job. Side to side, legs come back and we reset. Okay, bring your hands together. You can make a couple of fists here. Take your legs wide. You're going to squat, come up, twist and punch to the side. Lift that back heel up. Squat, twist and punch. Up and down. Squat, up and twist. Squat, twist, squat, twist and punch. Ten more seconds. Back to reset. Great job. Now I'm going to step to the left with the right foot. Clap, clap. Other side, clap and clap. So side to side, forward, little lunge position or lunging type movement. Bend your knees, clap up, clap back. Great job, everybody. Really good stuff. Ten more seconds. Last one, back to reset, and here we go. Nice marching position. Right arm up, left hand, you're gonna tap the knee, switch, and switch. Switch, 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 and then you pick it up a little bit. Same side, same hand, same leg. And you're trying not to do this type of movement, okay? Up and down. Vertical movement, 10 more seconds. And we go back to reset. Okay, halfway through, 10 minutes done. Already done, 10 minutes. Take your legs a little bit wider. Bend your knees, look forward as you bend. Touch the floor, reach up. Up and down, wide-legged squat. Two more seconds. 
Last one, reset. Okay, opposite hand to opposite knee. So we're doing the same side. Now we're gonna do opposite. Left arm up, side to side, other way. Kick your knees high, and then alternate from side to side. Remember, if that shoulder is open, there should be no upper body movement, just the arms, which is why we isolate those movements. Hip reset. I'm gonna take the right leg forward, bend the knees a little bit, and I'm going to bounce as I punch down to the floor, make my way to punch forward to the wall, make my way up, punch to the ceiling with that little bounce. Full range of motion. Any speed that you can handle here. Maybe fast and then slow. Fast, slow, as long as you're moving, it's all good. 10 more seconds. Little bounce in this lunge. And back to neutral position, good stuff. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, left leg forward. The back heel I keep up. So I'm bouncing like a bit of a shock absorber here. And I punch in all these different directions, ranges of motion. Just think about floor, wall, ceiling, and then back to the wall, back to the floor. You can go fast, then slow it down, a little bit of bounce. Super good for our coordination balance, core control here as well. A few more seconds, and then we come back and reset. Good job. Not that much long to go, so maybe pick up your pace just a little bit. Maybe even 10%. I'm going to start to kick the leg up and clap under. Clap and clap and clap. Maybe that little bounce. Again, you can go really quick and then slow it down. Intermittent. Twenty more seconds. Get those knees high. Clap and clap and clap. Ten more seconds. Great job, everybody. So I'll keep on going. Monday morning, all good stuff. Okay, back to reset. Fifteen minutes in the books. Only five minutes left to go. Breaking out in a nice sweat. I'm not even going that hard here. I'm sweating pretty nicely. Whoo! Okay, side to side in that modified jumping jack. So you step, come back, step and come back. Bend your knees a little bit. Maybe pick up the pace, then slow it down. Fast, maybe a little step, bigger step. And challenge the movement, fast or slow, smaller, big step. Arms locked at the elbow, so you're moving through the shoulder. Hip -hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop. 
Back to reset. Okay, right arm up, heel tap, left, right, left, right, left, right, kick, reach. Only a few minutes left to go. Challenge yourself at the end here. This is when fatigue starts to set in. You don't have very long to go. Challenge your body. It'll respond in kind, for sure. Move, sweat, breathe. 15 seconds, kick, reach. Last one, and back down, we go to reset. Okay, a few minutes left. We're gonna come down to the floor next. Try not to touch the floor with your hands until you get there, if possible, okay? Here we go. Come down, touch, come back up, reach, repeat. Use the opposite leg to stand, reach up, touch. If you need to put your hand on your leg, do it, but do it lightly. Use more leg action. Or hands off. Come on up. Come on down. Touch. Up. One more. One more. Touch. Come up. Reach up. All right, gang. Two minutes left to go. That's it. Okay, single side, single side, jumping jack. Do a few seconds this way, then we'll do a few seconds the other way. Same leg, bend those knees, then you come back. Press into this leg to pull yourself back. Okay, so you're not pushing off this back leg. Come to center, switch. Other leg, other side. Back to center. This is our last minute, last minute. Great job, everyone. Let's just pick up that pace now. March it out for the last minute. I'll let you know when that 30 second mark comes up. That's when you're really gonna to start to pick it up a little bit more. Check in with your breathing. Every once in a while, breathe through your nose. Hmm, a couple breaths in and out. 30 seconds, kicks in right about now. Here we go, 30 seconds. Coming up shortly to that 10 second mark. Fastest and safest movement starts right about now. Last 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and zero, and reset. Great job, everybody. Good stuff. Turn our music down and our, get our program for today, and then we'll get started. We're going to be on the floor today. No weights required. Here we go. Okay, we're going to do a series of core exercises this morning, strengthening our core muscles. Completely, completely necessary for us to do. Core strength is so, so, so important for us just to keep us healthy, mobile, up, all that good stuff. Okay, let me just find it. And then we'll move right into it. Okay, let me just see here where we are. 
Whew. It's really hot in this space down here, by the way. Now, if at any point through this, uh, you're not quite sure about the movement, then feel free to just uh, ask while we do it. So I'm happy to uh, engage and interact with you while we're doing this position and these movements. Okay. The first one is going to be an overhead arm reach. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do it. In yoga, boat pose is this position here where we're balancing like this with the, with the legs up. Now, we can keep the legs and uh, legs bent, feet to the floor, lift the arms overhead. You can sit back a little bit until you feel that core engagement, and then you come back up again. You can go a little bit lower if you like and lift the legs off the ground and then you come up into a floating position. So there's a whole bunch of variables. You can also have one leg straight, arms up, sit back a little bit, and then you engage your core, pull the belly tight, and then lift forward. Any of these variables are really good. So we're just trying to figure out this movement here and we're not rounding over. We're keeping the spine straight. So it's more of a hinge think about that hinge like movement now whether you need to even keep your legs straight you can just go back and forth a little bit like so this is also a really good way to do it look straight spine straight and then eventually you're going to pick your legs up and then you lie back without going back all the way and then you come up so you extend the leg, extend the arms, and then you come up. Okay, this is the full movement with a little bit of balance. And I don't lie down all the way. I stay in tension the whole time. Okay, take a quick break, quick break. Excuse me while I have a little bit of water. I did not have my water after cardio, so let me just do that. Now, the idea when we're doing these exercises, if you look at how I'm sitting, I'm trying not to round, okay? We're trying to sit really tall here, and that gives us that core engagement as we move the torso. Otherwise, different muscles start to kick in when we roll the spine. Okay, next movement. This is a, a Pilates bicycle can also be done in several different ways. I'll show you one. If you're lying down a little bit, extend one leg, bring your hands behind you. You lift the torso up and rotate, bring the right elbow to the left knee. Then you extend the left leg and you switch and do the other side. Side to side bicycle movement. You can also do this sitting up with your legs bent. If you're just starting out, Sit back a little bit, sit forward, do the rotation. You can also have one leg straight, and then you switch your legs. This is also totally acceptable when you get started. Ultimately, you wanna be lying down, lift the shoulders off the floor, and move side to side. You can also, if you'd like, just bring one hand to the knee and go side to side. As long as the shoulders are lifting, you're gonna keep that engagement of your belly. So any amount here, totally good. Side to side, side to side. Alternatively, remember, you can be up here as well, spine straight, little rotation, All good. And last one. And quick break. Whew. Okay. Next. All right. We're going to come down onto the elbows. You're going to... Now, you can keep your feet here onto the floor, or let's lift both legs up. And then you're going to do a little tap, extend, come back. Tap the heel, extend the leg, 
bring it back. If you notice, both legs are floating in this position. You can also just keep both feet down, lift one, tap, extend, bring it back, lower it down, and then you lift the other, tap, extend, and bring it back. Try and keep the chest up and the shoulders up the whole time. Ideally, we want the both feet off the floor as we tap the heel, extend, come back, tap the heel, extend, come back, and cycle, switch side to side. Now in this position, keep the abs strong. So always think about pull the belly button in towards your spine when you're doing these movements. It'll keep your lower back protected. Now also it gets a little bit more challenging when you extend the legs and do that heel tap from here versus the knees in. So you can play with that a little bit as well about how straight those legs are. When the legs are straight and you're holding them in this position, it's much more challenging to do that because the legs are heavier in this open, more straight position. Okay, that's the last one, and take a quick break. So about 40, 45 seconds of those movements, you take a 15 second break, and then repeat the movement three times, and then we'll do the next one, okay? So it's pretty good to repeat these movements. Okay. This time, we're going to bend the legs and feet to the floor, arms by your side. Now what I'm gonna do is, as I sit back, I'm going to extend one leg, come up, switch other leg and again switch and switch keep the spine straight try not to roll over if you can stay straight again one leg the other leg i'm looking straight ahead and even up a little bit challenge how far you go back you'll feel this kicking in the front and the sides as well And this one foot that's onto the floor stays on the floor, nice and firm, as you go up. <sighs> Try and come up really far if you can, full range of motion. So you go back, up, and then you switch. Oh, I feel this a lot. <laughs> and take a quick break. The other thing to notice, whenever you're doing core work, if you're holding your breath, it's a sign that your core is just a little bit weak. So what you would do in a case like that, so if you went back really far, a lot of people here will hold the breath to come up. You've gone too far, keep breathing. So move only to the point where you can continue to breathe. And if it's this, oh yeah, I can breathe here, and then I come back, I can breathe, yep. But if I go back here, if it's too much, oh, I gotta hold my breath. So avoid that. Incrementally, progressively work into it. Little movements first, work the technique, work the breath, and then you challenge yourself to go a little bit more so you can still breathe. So a sign of a weak core is when you hold your breath. If you ever uh, went to pick something up and you realize it's heavier than what you thought, a lot of people hold their breath to stabilize their internal organs by holding their breath. If your core was strong, you wouldn't have to hold your breath, you would keep breathing, and then your muscle strength would create the movement, if that makes sense. Okay, and let's go. Number two, oh yeah, this is a good one, I love this one. Okay, so we're gonna lie down, bring your feet together, and let the legs butterfly out. You're gonna bring your hands to the back of your head, and then we're gonna lift the shoulders off the floor a little bit, and you're gonna try and do a rotational movement. So the tendency is for the elbows to shoot forward. Keep the elbows back, look to the ceiling, lift the shoulders slightly, and do a circular movement. One direction. So we're moving through the front and sides of our core muscles here, creating a circular movement. And then let's go in the other direction. This is around the world with butterfly legs. 
try and do any kind of circular movement. Again, other direction. Shoulders lift. Whew. Do the last one. And take a break. Great job, everyone. Okay. Next movement. And I believe that this is the last one that we're doing. Is it the last one? No, it's not. We're going to do one more. Okay, two more. Okay. This, this movement here, we're going to lie down. Bend the right leg and lift the left leg. Now you're gonna try and get this left leg straight. Walk the hands, imagine that your leg is a tree. You're gonna lift the shoulders up, look up to the foot, and then try and walk up the leg as much as you can. Lower the leg and switch to the other leg. Walk up, lower the leg, walk up the other leg. So this whole time, my shoulders are lifting and my abdominal muscles are engaged to keep this upward motion. And I switch. I'm gonna walk up the tree on this side. And then switch. Now, eventually, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have one leg straight off the floor, the other leg up, and you're gonna walk this way. And then you switch and walk that way. And then you switch and walk that way. And then again, switch, walk up, switch while the other leg floats. A few more seconds. Walk up. Whew. And walk up. And take a quick break. Oh my gosh. I really feel it. You guys feel this? <laughs> I really feel this a lot. Okay. And then we're gonna move into the last one. We're gonna get onto the elbows and I'm gonna show you a couple of variables on this one. Okay, this movement is... <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Okay, down onto the elbows. You can bend your knees and let's just do some circles. Go in one direction. And go in the other direction. Or you start to straighten the legs out. Go on the other side, big circle. Or the knees stay bent, okay? So challenge again the movement. Try and sit up as much as you can. And either some circles with the legs bent. So do three in one direction, two to three in one direction, two to three in the other direction, or straighten the legs a little bit. Eventually straighten the legs more. Eventually straighten the legs completely and doing the movement. Okay, so we start with knees bent. Take a break whenever you need to. Other direction. And the further the knees go away from your body, the more your core muscles kick in. So when you're tight, it's pretty good, but when you go wider, it just gets even more challenging. The tendency here is for the lower back to kick in, so your abs must be on, fully engaged and contracted. And any type of movement here, where as long as you feel it mid-body, you are good. Other direction. And maybe leg straight. And last one. And we're done. 